I believe domestic violence is any violence that takes place in the home, whether it's against a male or a female or against your elders. Domestic violence is like not just physical abuse, but it's also mental abuse, blackmail. Um, abuse can take a lot of different forms. Harassment between parents and children, between partners, um, extended family, it can take a lot of different shapes. And sort of, yeah. Um, I don't think it's ever okay, whether it's emotional or physical or it's a female or it's a male that's doing it, I don't think it should ever be allowed or it's, it's a pretty screwed up thing, the fact that um, people that just have that altercation and things like that happen in, in a place where they're supposed to be safe, for example. Female, I would say I'm more convinced that 
the figures against women suffering severe impacts of domestic violence would probably still vastly greatly outweigh what men are. So, according to the Australian Bureau of Statistics 2012 Personal Safety Survey, it was found that up to one in three sexual assault victims and at least one in three victims of family violence and abuse is male. Yeah. So, it's about 33%. Yeah, well, that doesn't really surprise me because it's, I mean, it's, it is a two-way street. And that may be very true. I think the data you have is probably more recent than mine. Um, and that may be changing as people are reporting. I would suggest that it would be harder probably for a male person to report that they've got family violence against them. Um, just because I guess the cultural issues that might go along with that, the stigmatism that they might feel is... I don't know if people get scared to tell, tell their story out that they're getting abused and stuff like that. I've been abused and now it's just not so... Yeah, like... It's not just a one-sided thing. You, you hear about it all the time. You think about it. I, in a society where like every, everyone's an equal, it's going to happen that people get abused the same way. Like you can't always just predict the variables that people that cause domestic violence. And it's a teacher. I mean, that's what I say. It's a teacher, but I mean it is more true. There is, is, I think, education is key. But I would just know, in terms of the statistics of serious injury and death. I'm thinking those statistics would still probably really heavily outweigh severe male impact compared to female impact. Like, why is it less male than female? It has to be more to it than just punishing perpetrators. There has to be an understanding that it's much more complex. I, I do feel a little bit of, I don't want to say, but a little bit of resentment towards the media for not showing um, male domestic violence statistics. Well, I wish, I wish I lived in a world where people take more responsibility for their own feelings and happiness to a point where they didn't feel inclined to take it out on other people, children, partners, etc. through you know, sexually, physically, verbally. Um, I suppose I just wish we'd all live a little bit smarter, smarter with our emotions, smarter with our lives, the time we have together. I think maybe somebody, somebody being in a comedy or somebody being in a social media or do anything just to just to stop them, you know, because everybody deserves that freedom, everybody deserves that justice.